and we begin with coaching news. The Brooklyn Nets have agreed in principle with Lionel Hollins to be their new head coach. Per reports, the deal could be worth as much as $20 million if the Nets pick up his fourth-year option. Holland's last coach, the Grizzlies, in 2012-13, led them to a franchise record 56 wins and a trip to the Western Conference Finals. Lionel played 11 seasons in the NBA with five different teams, hoping the Blazers win it all back in 1977. He paid his dues as an NBA assistant coach and has compiled a 214 win against 201 loss record as a head coach. So, D.A., are you surprised and or amazed at how quickly the Nets acted in hiring Hollins? No, not really. I mean, look, once they, you know, once the Jason Kidd thing happened, they <laughs> they started talking to Lionel Hollins and it became clear they didn't even call George Carl, which shocks me. I mean, the guy's got a thousand wins. You think he'd get a call, but they didn't even bother calling George Carl. Lionel Hollins was their guy for minute one. They interviewed him. They they really liked what he had to say about the team. And he had obviously studied up on the team in the 72 hours uh, before he was interviewed. And it became clear that that's the way they wanted to go. They wanted to do this quickly, and, and they thought that he would be the guy. Smitty, what kind of coach are the Nets getting in Lionel Hollins? Well, first of all, a guy who likes to develop young talent. I think defensive-minded and also tough-minded. The one thing I love about Lionel, Ron, and Rick, and D.A. is when you watched him, he was always in control. But he also had some fun with the guys. It wasn't all like a military style. They love playing for him. Uh, and like D.A. said, I think the Brooklyn Nets have been targeting him. They want him to be assistant coach under Jason Kidd. So I think it's a good fit for them after losing Jason Kidd. But when you start to look at Lionel Hollins, all that being said, he's a winner, too. Progressively, each season in Memphis, the team got better and better. And this last season, he, he had a record of 56 and 26 and went to the Western Conference. He can coach the game. Hey, Ron, uh, there are questions whether Kevin Garnett will, will come back or retire. Paul Pierce is an unrestricted free agent. Who's going to be left in Brooklyn for Lionel Hollins to coach? Well, first off, the cupboard isn't bare. You still got D. Will. You still have Brooke Lopez. You know, and then if KG comes back, they have some pieces. And that's what I think it was so wise in terms of Billy, in, with Billy King in terms of hiring him, is he's an experienced guy. He'll find a way to make it work. There are enough pieces there. you got a guy like Mason Pumley who's starting to turn the corner a little bit. He showed flashes. So the cupboard isn't bare at all. You're talking about a guy that went to three playoffs uh, with the Grizzlies. I'm shocked, quite frankly, that the Grizzlies let him go. So I think Billy King did an excellent job in terms of stepping in, grabbing him right away. They knew the guy he wanted, and they, and they jumped on it and got a more than admirable coach right away.